Another uh, game day segment we're going to drop. Uh, predictions for week one of the NFL. Uh, we'll start down here on the end because it's his boys starting on Thursday night Tampa at Bay Tampa. Wins. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. No faith at all. Nope. By but, like two touchdowns. You know it's only an eight and a half point line. Yeah, actually. they win by two touchdowns. Okay, all right, <laughs> all right. Um, yeah, Damn. Tampa Bay beats Dallas. I'm gonna I'm go Georgia. Tampa as well. Give me Tampa. All right, sweet. Uh, we'll start with you actually, since it's your boys uh, at one o'clock on Sunday. Steelers at Bills. Um, it's gonna be a tough one. That's gonna be a close game. I'm assuming the line's less than seven. Six and a half to the Bills. Yeah. Um. I think Pittsburgh's defense is going to give enough trouble to the Bills to hold them to where we need to hold them to. And Najee Harris is going to show out like the true king he is. Uh, Roethlisberger is going to come wow. in and um, – Bold statement coming from a rookie. Uh, he's going to, ben Roethlisberger is going to come in and show that he's not that old yet, and the Steelers are going to claim the W on this one. I'm going to take the Bills. Give me the Bills. I, I agree that defense is going to be stout. And I, but I think the Bills squeak out a close one by like three. I feel what you're saying though. I do think Najee Harris will play well, and I think Ben may actually look good in Week One. But I like I like the Bills. I like I Pittsburgh actually, is eight and zero last season when Roethlisberger does not throw an interception. Okay, well that'll be a true test then. That'll be a true test. I think they were like four and three when, when he, he did. did. All right, I got the Chargers at the football team, aka Ooh, Washington. Yeah, I know. Oh, um, this is a one-point line, by the way. Give me the Chargers. I like Justin Hobart. I like Eckler. Like, I like that offense right now. Yeah? Yeah, I'm going to take the Chargers. Yeah, I'll go with the Chargers. Yeah. I'll, I'll Mainly move. just because I don't want to pull for Washington. I actually <laughs> like – well, first off, people really think Washington's going to play well this year with Ryan Fitzpatrick as the quarterback. I, and I, and I, I agree. I want him to prove that first. I want him to prove that first. So, I'm yeah. going to go with the Chargers as well. Washington. Okay, I like that. I like that. So he said, I'm going to run with that one-point line. I think. I mean, I think Terry McLaurin's going to have a good year. I think Antonio Gibson's going to have a good year. Chase Young on that defense is going to be that defense tough for is, anybody. It's going to be the backbone of that team. That defense is stout. That front, yeah. that front seven. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, 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 something, it's something good. I mean, yeah. I like it. I, I don't disagree with that. I don't disagree with that. Probably the best defense in the NFC East, I would think. Well, that's not a whole lot of competition. I know. But I mean um, – <laughs> But between yes, Phil- I would agree. It's, it's the best like, one in the East. D line, therefore, was always strong. It was I, I for, guess for comparison, it's probably the fourth best in the AFC North. Huh? For comparison, yeah. Washington's defense is probably the fourth best in the AFC North. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, Seattle at the Colts. Possibly Carson Wentz for Week One. Possibly uh, Se- Seattle. Yeah, Seattle. Yeah, I'm going with Seattle. I'm going to go with Seattle, but I'm can I I have a feeling I'm probably going to be wrong here. Seattle lost a lot defensively this offseason. They have not they have not and They hadn't replaced it. No, and they haven't taken steps to it doesn't look like they're trying to take steps to be a championship program or a championship team again. It really feels like they're just kind of satisfied with kind of lingering in the middle for a little bit and then blowing it up and starting over after Russell Wilson's too old. I mean, but I feel like at that time, when you're not wasting the prime years of DK. Oh, yeah, probably. Yeah. So. DK and Tyler Lockett. Yeah. Well, Lockett's already 29. It still runs like he's 22. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. That's why he's on my fantasy team. Uh, give me Indy. At Indy. Okay. I like it. I like it. Start on your end. Cardinals at Titans. Titans. Derrick wow. Henry's going to just destroy them. Wow. Okay. I'm going to be a little shocker then. I'm going to take the Cardinals. I like I like Kyler Murray. I like the offense. Year two, Cliff Kingsbury. Adding J.J. Watt this offseason for the Cardinals' defensive line makes them more stout. They have brought in more pass rushers. They filled yeah, up filled up their secondary injuries. He's going to have a, a Mack truck running at him the whole time. He will have a Mack truck <laughs> running at him the whole time. Uh, I'm going to go with the Cardinals on this one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is tough. I like this. The NFL is a little bit tougher than college football was this um, week. Mm. And I'm picking the Titans only because I'm, I have to put my bet, uh, edge my bets on mm, Derrick Henry. Henry. Yeah. <laughs> God, I don't know. This is close. Um, I'm going with 
Arizona. Okay. Okay. Three Cardinals and one Titans. Starting back on your end, Packers at Saints. Jameis Winston is your QB1, New Orleans. Um, I'm going to take Green Bay, and I think Aaron Rodgers is on another FE tour. I hope so. Yeah, Green Bay, Aaron Rodgers on another FE tour. Um, <laughs> he hope he's on an FE tour. Taysom Hill should be the true QB1, and the Saints are going to quickly realize that. Um, wow, ballsy statement over here. I, I like I it. I don't blame him. I Taysom like Hill it. Taysom Hill is proven to him like – and the fact that, I mean, he was an ex-Packer, too. Taysom Hill was. Yeah, he was drafted yeah. by the Packers. Yeah. yeah. But I think Taysom Hill has proven to that organization. He's better than Jameis. That he could. Jameis might Athletically, throw. Athletically, probably, but not, I, not arm, arm strength. That's fine. Or when you're throwing 30 interceptions, I'd rather take the guy who can not throw 30 interceptions, give me 20 touchdowns, nine interceptions, yeah. 4,000 yards versus 5,000, 30 and 30. Hey, 10 to 15 yards a pass, that's a whole bunch of first downs. Yeah, yeah. All right. So that was – all right, so you took Packers. I'm taking, Packers. taking the Packers. All right. I'm going to do um, – I'm going to do the Packers too. I want, I want, I want Jameis Winston to show me he's a different person. I'm doing Packers. Jameis throws three interceptions. Okay. okay. Yeah, same old, um, same old Jameis. Had Crazy to, five. Had to, <laughs> I had to do this one because – our best friend just made me put it on the line while I was talking to him. So Browns at Kansas City. Hmm. Chiefs. I'm gonna take the Browns. Nah, Kansas City. Kansas City is gonna win the Super Bowl this year. Kansas City. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. Sunday night game. Bears at Rams. Ooh, um. Who's is um Who's starting for the, the Red Bears? Rocket? Is starting. The Red Andy Rocket Andy is Dalton. starting for the Bears. Uh, then give me the Rams. Yeah, the Rams. Uh, Matthew Stafford's here to play, boys. Yeah, I like the Rams this Matthew year. Matthew Stafford's you're gonna, here to you're play. You're going to see me pick the Rams a lot this year. So I'm, I, I'm definitely taking the Rams here on on Sunday night. They give me the Rams. Yeah, and yeah. I, I mean I, they got probably the top corner in the league and probably the top D tackle. Yeah. So yeah, I, I mean I think and they can fill out enough in that linebacker position to. To scare you. Yeah. Yeah. So I think they got good athletes at all three levels there on the defense. Yeah. That are gonna make it tough for you. I like my I like my chances with the Rams this year. I really do. So um and then Monday night, final uh NFL slate for the Pickums. Ravens at Raiders. Give me Baltimore. Okay. Okay. I um I'm gonna go Raiders. Uh, I I have a sneaky feeling that the Raiders are going to surprise a few people this year. I think they're very balanced offensively, and I think their defense is scrappy enough to keep them in games. I'm not I'm not sold on Lamar Jackson having a bounce back season. Yeah, I'm kind of nervous. We were talking about this weekend. Lamar Jackson seems like he's kind of people are figuring him out, and yeah. they're figuring out how to play defense against him, and it's kind of struggling with it. Um, I don't know. I don't know. This is a tough one. Um, what's the line on this one? It's four and a half in favor of the Ravens. Okay. I'm gonna go Raiders. Okay, all right. That's not how I thought this was gonna go. I'm going Raiders as well. Our, I thought this was gonna be like wow. a two-two split. I thought you were gonna go Baltimore. Yeah. I guess I have a lot of room to make up. Right? Yeah, you Keith, can. You Keith can, has got a lot of room. a lot of places. Yeah, he's, the, he's the odd man out in a couple of these. Yeah, same thing with the Cardinals Titans too. So. Oh, uh, he was the only one to take the Titans, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. hedging my bets on Derrick Henry. I understand. I mean, Listen, I don't, I, I don't doubt. Yeah, and the, having two powerhouses at receiver and Julio and AJ. Yeah, yeah. AJ I mean, and Julio now. I think and Tanny Hill, I, who, I, who I argued weeks ago was a top five quarterback. Yeah, you did. So, I the only thing for the Titans that scares me, and I want to see them replace him, is Taylor Lewan's gone. So, oh, that, what? Do you, which tackle do you play? He left? was the right tackle. Yeah, okay. Um. So no, he, no, he left. Sorry, he was he left. Played, he played weak side. Yeah, he was, yeah, he was, he was left, left side. side. But either way, I mean, when you lose a guy that's regarded as a top five tackle in the NFL, I mean, that's that's a scary thing to have to replace. So, yeah. but you do have a monster running back. So, 